Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Rose and today I'm going to be telling you guys how I lost 10 pounds in one month. That's right, 10 pounds in one month. But before I get started, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. And also definitely check me out on my social medias which will be in the description box below. So. With that being said, let's get started. So I really was always like bigger just in life in general. I think when I was 15 was the highest I ever weighed, which is almost 170 pounds. And so from 15 until the beginning of college, I really tried to like lose weight. And I ended up getting down from 170 to about 136. And I kind of stayed that way my first year of college. Um, and mainly that was because, um, not because I was eating healthy, but because I was walking everywhere. My classes I would walk to, I would walk to see my friends every single day, which was like a 20 minute walk from where I lived on campus. We were walking to the gym, we were walking to get food, and I was only eating like twice a day, even if it wasn't the healthiest food. Going into my sophomore year, everything kind of changed. I kind of became very depressed because I had a lot of family issues going on that had came from that summer um, as well as my classes started getting harder because I was a biology major so I kind of was getting up into the higher level courses. I stopped going out with my friends, I stopped um, going to class so I wasn't really walking to class. I lived in a different apartment than I did my first year so everything was buying in the grocery store was two minute walk. There was a Wendy's right downstairs that I would go to all the time and again because I was super depressed I really just kind of stayed in my room and just laid in bed all day and I would only really leave my room to like go get food <laughs> so typically in a week I would get Wendy's like three times a week and I was getting like a large fry and a chocolate fry see that was my thing the whole sweet and salty combination and then i would go to the grocery store and i could get a whole party size bag of hot cheetos which are my favorite and <laughs> i could eat that whole thing in a sitting with like chocolate ice cream i just really turned to food for emotional comfort so i was sad a lot and so i ate when i was sad which was all the time and then whenever there were the rare times that i was happy I would eat or if I ate when I was anxious or I was stressed just really any emotion I would eat and it got to the point where I'm going to insert some pictures where the end of my first semester of the sophomore year I weighed myself in my room I had a scale in my apartment I weighed myself right before I left for Christmas break and I was 150 pounds I had never seen that number on the scale since high school at that point I knew I had to you know get it together so over the Christmas break, as well as through the first um, month, so during January, I kind of was able to, the weight just kind of fell off naturally a little bit because I went home. Some of the things I was dealing with my family kind of worked themselves out, as well as not having to be in school. I really wasn't stressed. And, you know, just my emotions and things started to get better. And I thank God for that because I really don't know how it happened. It just happened. Because of that, by the end of January, I was um, 142 pounds, so I kind of lost about six to eight pounds, but I still was not comfortable with myself. It got to the point, especially that first semester, all I could wear was leggings and t-shirts. That was it. My jeans wouldn't fit, dresses I couldn't wear, nothing made me feel confident at all. My stomach poked out, just everything was just terrible. So I got to the point where I was really just like, I have to do what I have to do to lose this weight. So the first thing I really want to just talk about is my nutrition. So, you know, just the things that I ate and the things that really helped me to be able to lose the weight. So one of the biggest things that I did do was intermittent fasting. And so intermittent fasting, if you don't know, is where you fast for a certain portion of the day and you eat for a certain portion of the day. So intermittent fasting wasn't really new to me. It's something that I did the summer before and I was able to lose a couple of pounds doing that. So I knew it worked. So I just decided to do it this time. So I ate from 12 to 6 um, and then I fasted from 6 p.m. that 
evening till noon the next day and that's how i ate so some people do 12 to 8 some people do 12 to 4 4 p.m to 8 p.m really it just depends on you and your lifestyle and kind of what works for you um i was very very strict with this though like i remember tuesdays and thursdays i had a class at noon and so i would bring my food to class and eat or if i had like um a study group or something like that i would bring my dinner so i wouldn't like eat super past six so i would say the latest that i would eat is like 6 30 maybe seven that was rare i decided to do a 1200 calorie diet so let me go right off the bat and say this i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a dietitian this is just something that worked for me so i had my fitness pal and i would log everything that i was going to eat for the day in the night before so i knew exactly what i was going to eat and so I did three meals a day plus coffee. So my first meal would usually be some sort of breakfast. So a lot of the times I did like scrambled eggs and I would do that with oatmeal or I would do eggs and turkey bacon, something like that, something very just healthy and chill. I think sometimes I even did a smoothie, like strawberries, spinach, yogurt. And that was probably the days that like I didn't have class because that was my first meal. So I would do that when I wasn't like had to go somewhere so it wouldn't melt um and my second meal was something very simple because most of the time I wasn't in my apartment I was on campus during lunchtime, so I would bring something that I really didn't have to warm up and had to go find a microwave so I would do like a salad with like chicken and lettuce cheese um with like fat-free ranch or something and then I would do um like a hard-boiled egg with like a those box of cheese, some like roasted chickpeas, like a, I don't know what they call it, like a smorgasbord of like different healthy things. That's kind of what I would do sometimes. So just something very simple, something very chill. And for dinner is really where I kind of did most of my cooking. So sometimes I had a sweet potato with chicken, baked chicken. I did eggplant lasagna one time, which was really, really good. Um, I did a chipotle bowl. So I did like brown rice, black beans, chicken, sour cream, lettuce, cheese, all that. So I kind of just played around. I kind of tailored what I ate to what I liked. And as long as it fit into my 1200 calories and I wasn't eating out or eating any junk, I was okay. So I cut out all fast food, cut out chips, cookies. I wasn't really a big soda drinker, but um, the only thing I ate, um, the only thing I drank was... Um, coffee that's really and i only had it once a day that's really it like very simple very easy and i just made sure again i tracked everything in my fitness pal to make sure that i stayed on track and did not go over my calories and i think the whole time i maybe cheated two days out of the month and that's because i was doing this during the month of february so for valentine's day that weekend i treated myself that friday and saturday and i got right back on track that sunday so that's really all I did for my nutrition and my eating. I just, again, made sure I cut out junk food, fast food, just ate healthy, ate within my calories, and did my intermittent fasting. So the next thing is, of course, what I did to exercise. So it's weird for me with my body. I've noticed that I get better results when I work out as well as eat right. I know some people are like, you don't have to exercise to lose weight it's all about calories in versus calories out which is true but for me i notice that i get better results um and i feel better when i work out while trying to lose weight so i literally did the simplest thing ever every single morning i would get on the elliptical for 30 minutes that was it there was a gym right in my apartment so i would just go downstairs every morning before class get on the elliptical for 30 minutes and then take a shower and go to class. That was it. I did that, I think, six days out of the week. And I think I took a day off. So I didn't do that on Fridays. I was kind of my free day. And I like the elliptical because I'm not the biggest runner. And I knew I couldn't stay consistent with running if I got on the treadmill every day. And um, at that time, I wasn't really into lifting weights or anything like that. I just knew, like, you just had to sweat basically to burn calories so that's what i did and i was able to burn 300 calories in 30 minutes that was always my goal and so i just made sure i consistently did that so 
this eating right and this exercising, I literally did that for a month. I stayed consistent with it, and I was able to get down to 132 pounds by the time um, Mardi Gras hit. So, a little over a month, but basically a month. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's all I really did. So, the last thing I want to talk about is really just the things that I did that helped me stay motivated and helped me stay disciplined. Um, while I was doing this journey because it's kind of it's hard to change your lifestyle and change you know the foods that you love to eat and to change the routine that you're comfortable in so the first thing I really did was I got back into my relationship with God so by that meaning like I said before the semester before I was very very depressed and wasn't reading my bible wasn't praying wasn't talking to God just very very confused about life I didn't know whether I wanted to go to school anymore, and if I did, what my major was. It was just a lot of identity crisis going on, so I definitely made it a point to get back in, in the Word. I started reading my Bible consistently. I started praying more. I started um, watching sermons. I just started doing things to get closer to God, and by doing that, I was really able to improve my relationship with food because when I had these bad feelings, I wouldn't turn to food I would turn to God instead so that was something I definitely recommend to really get down to the root of the problem of why you got to an emotional state to gain the weight in the first place the next thing I would say is definitely to track your progress um it's hard to kind of stay motivated if you feel like you're not seeing any progress but in reality you look at yourself every single day in the mirror and you're not going to see a difference so take progress pics because you'll actually be surprised um at how good you look and how much weight you're losing. You just don't see it because you look at yourself every day. So that's definitely something I would do. Next thing I would do is just keep in mind you need to be patient. This is not something that takes a day to happen. You didn't gain the weight in a day. You're not going to lose it in a day. So I would definitely say just keep that in mind and just keep going and keep pushing. Honestly, for me, it took me the whole month before I started, like the fourth week. For me to actually see progress and that was with me taking progress picks anything worth having in life is worth being patient for and working for so patience is a virtue well that's it for this video guys definitely let me know where you are in your journey and where you hope to be wish you guys all the best and i know that you guys can do it hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one bye i'm coming in hot.